You got to understand that they gave kids. But just because you gave kids doesn't mean you deserve like millions of dollars. Like, bro, I can have kids. That's like, the most like, like that's the know. most like precious thing you could ever do in the world. I know, it's but it's like, kids. It's almost that's like, literally what makes us here. OK, but people that have no money in the hood don't deserve a million dollars do they deserve a million dollars yeah being? everyone I, deserves whatever they are worth you know whatever yeah, they they deserve work. she had another snapchat yeah wow so i don't have to explain that snapchat. she had another snapchat she would like talk to a bunch of guys People. like on the snapchat she would hang out with other guys and then deadly, freak out when deadly. he was being sketchy mm. Mm. um my uncle my cousin uh, Jaden Sancho, his dad. Jaden Sancho. Cousin, he told me Man that United. he had tickets, that he got tickets from me, like, miraculously. The inner left lane, right next to the barrier, he tries to slip in, too. He jacks it really hard, hits the side of the curb, oh. car hops up, and flips over on oh. its side. Guys think they can get, like, any girl, which really isn't true, but, like, girls can really get any guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, in Very that true. way, I feel like girls are worse. It's easier for them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You really don't have to try that hard. Yeah. You know, he was getting questioned about his wife. And he was like, so how do you feel about uh, your brother impregnating your wife? <laughs> I saw oh, that. Baby, just vibe with me. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the podcast where you get to tune in and get a glimpse of the guys. My name is Luciano. Jay. Michael. And we got Jess again. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming on again. Yeah, we appreciate um, it. She actually loves the podcast, so she, you know, will be coming on as a reoccurring guest, you know, to converse and uh, have good talks. So thank you for coming along. Yeah, I'll be here every it. week. <laughs> 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 um so let's just uh let's just get into this real quick uh so this uh past week has been a little hectic um you know we've been doing a lot of filming and everything and uh unfortunately you know there was a not unfortunately but fortunately there was a a fantastic game going on in the gillette stadium right Met life. Uh, not metlife metlife stadium and um, it was Man United against Arsenal, one of my favorite teams, Man United. I don't know if you guys can see that here. Ronaldo there. <laughs> favorite teams. So uh, it was a really good, good match and everything. And, um, you know, Jared, Jared can take it away from, from here. I want, I want to hear how uh, – he kind of uh, goes about this story, but I'm just letting you know now that he uh, kind of uh, screws me over a little bit. There's beef. There's there's just a little something, but nothing too serious. <laughs> there's big beef, but uh, no. So actually, my um my uncle, my cousin, uh, Jaden Sancho, his dad, my, my Sancho. cousin, he told me Man that United. he had tickets that he got tickets from me like miraculously. Um, at like 250 right so uh the game metlife is like two and a half hours away from us right so he calls me he's like hey jared uh i got your tickets and then i was like tickets for what <laughs> like i had no idea what he was talking about and he goes tickets for the game and i was like for the game i was like what time does it start he's, <laughs> he's like five o'clock and i'm like, oh god the accent i know it's hurt it hurts geez. to hear what do you mean? It's a, it's a good accent. You said the game, and then you said five o'clock. Five o'clock, yeah. You but, um, people would be disgusted. So, no, I was like, all right, bet. And I'm traveling with one of my friends. We are coming from uh, an appointment that we had. And on the way, that's when he called me. So I was like, fuck. And he's like, I got two tickets for you. And I was like, well, all right. Looks like I'm bringing you, even though I knew that uh, Luch was... A huge fan of uh, Man United, um, but I thought he was busy, didn't want to bother him. Um, but no, it was honestly an awesome, awesome experience. And Jess actually went there. Uh, so if you guys see from the uh, previous wine talk, how uh, she knew she was going. It was my idea, and then he copied me. Sure. Yeah, you know, it's whatever. fine. Yeah, whatever. And then we get there, and 
first thing that happens is there's a fight, like literally a fight in one of the corners of the stadium and everything. Awesome, we'll put that up there too. And um, Jaden actually scored, but I wasn't even there yet. So I got there at like 6 p.m. when the game started at 5. I got there just a little bit after halftime. And um, no, it was an awesome, awesome experience. I wish I could have brought you. But um, <laughs> He's so sad. You know, I even I, told Jared to tell you that I was going to take videos for you. And, and I then totally he went. Forgot. And then he didn't bring you. <laughs> well, I totally forgot to tell Lush that. But, thank you, know, you for you thanking me at least. No, I thought other it, people don't think about wow. your closest friends. You know, I, I did think about that. Um, but no, I just feel like if I... I'll say this. If I had to go back and I was in the same situation... I would have made the same decision I made for two reasons. One, Crazy. you're going to like this because I feel like God has a plan for everything. <laughs> what? And so. <laughs> oh, this guy. I'm glad you guys got to experience oh, stuff. I know what if you're doing. If I had brought you, you would not have this. What was that? Open it up and see. Wow, you played that off so well. Wait a minute. Open it up. Let the people see what it is. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Signed? Signed jersey? Guess by who? That is OD. I witnessed that. I was there. Oh, what? I oh, witnessed that. Fire. I was there. That Wait, is you fire. saw Jaden Sancho sign it? Mm-hmm. Oh, you were with Jaden Sancho? She really came <laughs> yeah. down to like... He goes, don't rare. leave after the game because we'll probably meet him. So we found uh-huh. them after. You met Jaden Sancho? He's in my video on Instagram. We didn't meet them, Instagram. but like, he was like... <laughs> here's the thing. He's in All my right. video. So, this is a crazy here's, story. Here's, yeah. Wait, can I tell this story? Mm-hmm. Okay, so Wait, hold on, hold on. We can't disclose everything that happens because oh, this okay, is... Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we can cut out whatever we all want. All right, so you well, tell it. So you tell it. So first of all, after the game, me um, me and my uncle, we go down, and uh, that's when we meet Jess and everything. So we're going walking down to, like, where you can, like, hang over the railing and, like, kind of touch everyone's hands. Mm-hmm. But no one, none of the players are there yet, so... We're all getting um, screamed at. By the security. Screamed at. Like saying, you guys got to go. We're going like to put you this. in cuffs. Yeah, what? like literally. For like, like 30 they're minutes. They're bugging. They're literally bugging. So yeah. like we move over to the middle and uh, Jaden's dad is like, hey, listen, like um, the family, and we have some cousins here that want to meet him and everything. And the security guy is like, listen, they didn't guy. Care. Like he kept calling me guy. They I was like, listen, care. bro. Yeah. Like literally my care. cousin is coming out in like a second. He's like, well, the state troopers are coming too to lock you guys up if you guys don't leave because no it wasn't was it was intense it was intense. he was like listen i don't give a fuck who you're waiting for you guys gotta leave mm-hmm. as soon as he he's said like that, it doesn't matter that you're family everyone's got family around here something like that <laughs> yeah, it didn't make any crazy. sense as soon yeah. as he said that Jaden like walks out everyone's like oh, oh it's like security just like steps back and they're like fuck like now they gotta have their moment and stuff yeah and this is so funny like my uncle's like Jaden, Jaden, that's your cousin. He's like pointing at me. He's like, that's your cousin. And Jaden's like, cousin? I was like, <laughs> cousin. <laughs> and so this is the part that I kind of don't like. As soon as he walked up, people kind of just like dropped all their stuff like on top of him. Mm-hmm. It, it's also in my video. Yeah. And I was like, damn, like that is kind of like, like a bio, I guess. I, I didn't like that at all. But mm-hmm. someone threw threw their shirt at him and then someone threw a pen like right directly at him. And, and then, then like he just like hat, scrambled and to then grab like, it. Yeah. yeah. And yes. then, um, no, I, I can't disclose how I got that, but I will say that it was uh, randomly handed to me and that there was a guy that walked out of the stadium without a shirt on. Yes. Yo. Yep. So, Are you serious? Yes. I don't know if it's his shirt, <laughs> but. That is OD. Now it's yours. Wow. That is actually tough as hell. That is so Period. tough. Period. <laughs> Play. But I will tell you that if you did thank come you, to the thank game, you very much. You would not have that right now. So you take it how you want. 
No, I appreciate it. I appreciate the uh, the the gift, you know, of the Man United share from the man himself, you know, who and um I'm glad you guys got to experience it, you know, live in the stadium like that cuz I've I've experienced some football matches where I got to see you know Messi and like Argentina play at the Gillette as well and it was like beautiful just the way like the atmosphere is so different compared to any other sport in the world you know um we actually set and the it, record I, I feel like it's um, a beautiful beautiful thing to see and watch we actually um we set the record for the attendance at a soccer game there it was like 82,000 82,000 wow. that's, that's awesome 82,861 yeah, and it was sold out, so I don't know how he got those tickets, but shit. Yeah, I don't I don't know how so either. I bought them I on like, the pre sale. Yeah. Really? Right when they first dropped. Oh wow. So you were really, really ahead of it. Yeah. In like April. Oh wow. Okay. Wow. So you're really on it. Holy Wow. The whole the, the whole day was just so spontaneous. It was like those are the best kind of days too. Mm-hmm. Like when you don't know like what's gonna happen. So there was a fight. The guy ran onto the field. He juked out the security guard, too. Oh, like, he did? The security guard literally took a full, like, Superman dive trying to catch his legs. And he just, like, high-stepped. I didn't high see stepped. that. That I was when video. we were trying to come find you. Yeah. And he, like, high-stepped to get out of it. And Fire. then he juked out another security guard. But him, him. then he got <laughs> fucking swarmed. Yeah, yeah, I saw the end By of the it. troopers on the field. Like, when, he, when they brought him down, like, they swarmed him like he was a bomb. <laughs> I swear to God. I was like, Bench. Jesus Christ. He's harmless. He's just running on the field. His arms running behind the back. And the game was the over. Like, no one was there. Yeah. The game was over. And what? The game was over. Out. He ran onto the field. They, like, picked yeah. him up and everything. He's, like, walking away, like, cramping. Because, <laughs> yeah, like, I everyone jumped, off, yeah. jumped on him and shit. That's um, crazy. But, no, it was, uh, it was an awesome experience. And then yeah. we got that. The security was mad as fuck, so then we all walked downstairs to the VIP section because that's where they were telling us to go. Yeah. I don't even think yeah. that that's where they wanted us to go. But Yeah, they just wanted us to leave. Yeah, <laughs> they did. And we ended up getting, like, all-you-could-eat food <laughs> at that one place, which wow. is, like, crazy. That's fire, though. That sounds like a vibe. It was, it was cool actually where one was of the... the uh, what's, where's the stadium at? New, New Jersey. Jersey. New Jersey. Tough, yeah. tough. In, like, East Rutherford, New Jersey or something like that. Okay, that's not I will that bad. never go back there. Why? The drivers there, the that's roads. Just going through New York. Though, yeah. Too, right? No, that was worse than New York. New Jersey roads are really weird. I it's think because it was so weird. Whole, whole, Here's like, the thing, though. Take You're... a right to take a left. Kind of you deal. can't take a left. It's illegal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you, you have, have to, to take like a highway to get across the other street. Yeah, you have to take a right to take a so... left. Yeah. It is. Uh-huh. Oh my god. And we were there the whole weekend, so it was so bad. He got. Yeah. John got cut off like 15 times within a matter of a minute <laughs> and no one used their signal. And we were like, we can't go back here. And I was, we were on the highway and I was like this. I was like, I can't, like, I can't watch this right now. It was, it was so, so bad. bad. I feel like I almost died there. The whole weekend when we were there. Oh. It was atrocious. I was like, we can never come back here. I'm not coming back. I've actually seen, I remember like driving in Jersey, like with my hockey team when I was living there, like people like are wild and driving over there. Like yeah. seriously, I've almost, I feel like I almost, almost died. And they like, do not three care. Three of those times have been in Jersey, like in the car. One time though, we were on like this like kind of highway it's like the half highway half not kind of deal and my boy in the car is like we're in a car right and we're like kind of swerving through it like kind of cutting through traffic and whatever and we see this group of like other dudes like four other dudes like in like a suv but almost crossover it's a little bit smaller and then like they're trying to follow us like go to the same places like they're we're cutting through like little spaces between cars and then the other one is following us we cut into the the inner left lane right next to the barrier he tries to slip in too he jacks it really hard hits the side of the curb (laughs) car hops up and flips over on (gasps) its side and then like since like drivers are still driving like it hit the back of the car and the car sideways just like just spinning like it was just crazy just like boom flipped over bang and then just i was like and you're just like, oh. looking in like the we're, rear we're view mirror, like, like, bro, oh my god, oh, like god. literally, I was like, what was <laughs> no. that? And like, bro, we were talking about how we saw it in slow mo. It was crazy. And we we're like, should we stop? And we we're like, keep no, going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> oh no, 
<laughs> like we didn't do anything like he like he fucked around and he found out like that's really what happened i don't know yeah that's wild have you guys ever seen any car crashes in yes. like real time yes yeah in north haven when i was on universal a couple years ago and you know where like the bj's parking lot is but mm -hmm. the other parking lot where you get the gas yeah. like you'll come in from the other side i don't know it's hard to explain so we're driving like where chick-fil-a is on that road and there's a car that cuts like everyone off and there's only two lanes and you go around a bend yeah. and so we were like he's driving so reckless like he's gonna crash and literally he ran into the tree by that what? parking lot he literally spun out hit the tree and then the car like backed out and we were like oh and then the lights on the inside of the car came on and there was like two like elderly people in the back and they were just like going like this what? and i was like oh. and everyone just drove by him because of he course. was being a dick yeah, yeah. and then yeah. in hamden i was in the tar the taco bell parking lot with my friend and um you know how there's like it's like brick to hold up like the names of the the, the stores in that plaza like the plaza sign I know what you're kind saying. of thing yeah, yeah. yeah um the bottom there's cars speeding hits like slams right into it backs out and goes back the other way <laughs> and we literally were like Just what yeah like nothing happened yeah yeah only in hamden <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know yeah i feel like it's like that Hamden. yeah let me it's see that shit in haven too <laughs> i've seen well, people yeah. hit park cars <laughs> in new haven i heard somebody <laughs> i watched somebody hit a park car like it was probably like one at night like we had just gotten back from going out and i had just brought my boys from like my hockey team like from one was from canada and then one of them was from michigan and we we're like i'm like yeah like you know it's a super cool area you know like you know you could like they were asking like how to dress and all this other stuff and i'm like yeah it's like i mean it's not crazy but like it's a pretty nice area like the places that we're gonna go to like nothing crazy like honestly like you go one neighborhood out it's kind of the ghetto but like the like the places that we go to are pretty nice and then like <laughs> we we literally get dropped off by our uber and we make it we tried to go to it was really early it was right after high school too we tried to go to toads and because oh we're so young yeah i know it's, <laughs> it's like hard to say it hurts my heart that's so cringe um no but like we go we try to go to toads and like i don't know it was like closed or something because we were stupid and then we went to um the other place with a couple floors um a little bit more ghetto in that place but do you know what i'm talking about mm. downtown new haven it's a oh rise rise oh, yeah okay, so yeah we, there, we tried to go on lot rise and like on the way over like we hear just like er, 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 and we're like damn like what's on well on and he's like swerving side to side just like er, 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 coming down he has he gets the green light boom er, 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 doof slaps like the back the back right side of a car and just pink and just keeps moving and i was like that's crazy yeah yeah and then i've seen one on like scary to see like right then and there it too. is i think well yeah honestly yeah well we felt like we had distance but at the same oh, yeah, time yeah, yeah it still is scary especially for them they're like what the what the fuck bro like what i thought this was a nice area yeah exactly huh? i thought this was you're cool. like oh I'm like, about well, that. like yeah, like, I kind of capped a little bit, but, like, I'm just, like, it's all right, but, yeah. 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 Other than that, just some exit yeah. crashes, like, rear ends and stuff like that, like, normal. What about you? Um, on the highway and when it was snowing, um, I was kind of, like, going a little bit too fast, but, and then I was just, like, um, I kind of you, – you know when you kind of slide, like, for a millisecond? Mm -hmm. Like, you feel like the car – the car like slides a little bit that's when I'm like okay like now nah, i gotta chill out because it's like very icy and stuff like that and then i see a guy in the left fast lane oh, he's no. gone and then i don't see him for a little bit and then i think like a minute goes by i just see his whole hood of the car gone and it's just him like with the airbag like oh, <laughs> no. oh, oh no damn <laughs> and uh yeah i was just like well, I'm glad I didn't go that fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I thought I was pushing it. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was pushing it a little bit, and he just... Mm. 
<laughs> and I didn't see him for a little bit. I was like, oh, shit, maybe it's not too bad. And then just like a few seconds, you know, up to yeah. a minute go by, and then he's just there like all. I don't know how he was conscious. Like that was a big hit. It was just right into the railing or something, and then into another car. Jeez. Yeah. So. This is terrible. Scary. But like, what if you drove by and you just heard like, <laughs> like his head just like oh, on just, the stairs, that's like in GTA. Oh, no. You're wild. Like Jay. movies You're or something. Wild, bro. I don't oh think I would God. stop because if I stopped suddenly, I would slide and then I'd cause an accident. Jared, you're just <laughs> driving by. He's like, <laughs> that would suck. No. Well, shit. Why would you drive that fast in icy conditions? I mean, yeah, I, feel like I probably people would don't pull care. over though. People well, it's care. just the confidence thing. It's not even like people don't care. I think it's just like they care, but like because everybody cares they about don't. their life. Like think about yeah. that. Everybody cares about their life. They just like they're stupid in their actions, thinking that they're better than that. You know what I mean? Thinking they won't become a statistic, and that's how mm-hmm. everybody becomes a t- statistic. They're like, yeah, well, like my car's been fine. I've never gotten an accident. Yeah, I might true. as well just whip eighty in the snow and freezing rain. <laughs> yeah, what? and don't get it twisted though. I've definitely had some confidence with that too, though. Like. Honestly, in the four door, because I have the four by four, it's the all wheel drive. Bro, I'm like, this shit can do anything. It's I have a the tank. Kia Soul. It's the same thing. Same deal. Honestly, no, nah, but my 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 thing be doing it. I swear to God, in the snow, I got too cocky one time. <laughs> I really did. Oh, no. And I was just, I was door dashing. Like it was like a couple years ago, and I remember just like, I was just like, I was door dashing during the snow because they give you, a, they give mm-hmm. out bread yeah, when it's snowing because like oh, nobody yeah, wants well, to do anything. Oh yeah, when you order something, it'll say like if it's raining, it's like your dashers dodging raindrops right now and oh, you're really? like what <laughs> that's yeah it's, it's raining i've never even seen that from another view but yeah, um yeah it was crazy. snowing so like i got like there's a bunch more money and like i have a all-wheel drive car you know it's like half suv type deal like i'm like it's straight it'll be fun i'm whipping around like giving out orders or whatever <laughs> i go through and i'm like i start like sliding or like i catch a little like little tail when i'm taking some turns and I just start having fun with it. Like, I started just, like, kind of just drifting on my turns. Like, I start coming in hot on this one. I have no fucking clue why. But, like, I'm, like, coming in, like, okay. Like, I'm, like, oh, this is, like, a, this will be a nasty little drift. Like, let me see what I can do with this. <laughs> like, it's a nice little bend. I, I, I don't know what in the fucking world. Like, I remember just, like, being, like, damn, this is, like, kind of fast, but, like, kind of not. Like, I'll be straight. Like, it is what it is. Like, I start coming in. I start slowing up. I tap the brakes, nothing, mm. nothing. And I mean, like, I'm like, oh, mm. I just start tapping the brakes, tapping the brakes. And it's just, I'm still just sliding. <laughs> oh, I'm no. sideways now. And I'm just like, <laughs> like, this like is the end of I was it. like, this is it. This is it. <laughs> it catches, it catches back, catches back for like half a second. And then I still end up being like three quarters angle, <laughs> just hitting snow bank. No real damage, but like, I definitely was like, I'm a dumbass. Like I need to stop playing games. To, like yeah. back up. Like I need to get out of here, bro. Like wow. I was going That's way too. One. Oh yeah, it was one. definitely close. It wasn't even a close one. I just straight up hit that shit. Like honestly, like <laughs> oh, yeah. honestly, no, no, no. Like there was no stopping. I no, but it could have been way worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 It could right. be worse. Yeah. Yeah. Let me so. finish this order. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I was like, I was like, let me get it. Let me get it to the house before I start wilding out and doing donuts. Like I'm on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. But yeah, that's funny. Um, I thought of this question like when uh, we were, you know, you guys were talking about the Men United stuff. I think you were talking about it last podcast for the wine talks. And like that day of, I saw on TikTok, there was like this reel of uh, a old, like, you know, Premier League player. Um, oh my God, I'm blinking out on his name. Uh, his, his last name is Giggs. Um, Ryan Giggs? No. I don't know. The real or whatever, the TikTok. And his brother was on a podcast, like this Premier League's brother, right? And he was talking about, you know, he was getting questioned about his wife. And he was like, so how do you feel about uh your brother impregnating your wife <laughs> I, I saw oh, god I, saw I was that. like whoa what I saw that. kind I saw of that. podcast is that. this bro i saw that oh. so like how'd you feel how'd you feel and what would you felt if uh she didn't get the abortion and he's what? like you know that was very uh detrimental you know it could have been way worse and all this stuff and uh 
honestly you just kept saying it could have been way worse way worse or whatever and um and he just said that uh his brother was having an affair with his wife the whole entire marriage that how long were they married there for a few years few years and supposedly they hooked up before they got married as well which is insane so you lose your brother and your wife and what makes it even worse his whole family and friends side sided with gigs like the the premier league player and everything and he didn't get the respect or anything from his family or um everything he just kind of got like I thought you thrown said out his family like sided with him no his family didn't even side with him his, his you mean his family sided with Giggs's brother no uh so his family the brother that was on the podcast uh-huh. his family sided with the brother that was having oh, an affair oh yeah whoa that's, that's wild. wild yeah so it just doubled down on him yeah so that is uh but he seems crazy. happier I, I don't think he's with her but what do you what is your guys take on that I don't know. I feel like I would just get really fucked up about it. That's a little fucked up. I don't <laughs> right? I feel like family, well, it, it, that's like a boundary too. cross. Like, yeah, like, yeah, that's major trust issues at that That's point. what I was thinking. Like, same trust if issues. If your own brother is having an affair with your wife, like, yeah. Bye, cut them both off. It's yeah. like, who do you, like, honestly, who do you trust if, you're, <laughs> if your brother yeah. of all people is? I like, I can't even... I can't imagine that. How close can you be to your brother if he's fucking your wife, though? Like, let's be honest. But what about the wife? <gasps> yeah. Yeah, what happened to her? Do you know what happened to her? No. I don't even know what happened to her, actually. Hopefully, but she became an ex-wife. Probably. So I hope so. Well, yeah. 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 You you say, uh, yeah, we all say, yeah, but then you know how it is. You know it is. Yeah, that's All yeah. of a sudden, like, a couple months later, they're back together, and you're like, bro, like, your we brother fucked each other fucked so her, much. Like, What about the holidays? Yeah. yeah. What, about <laughs> what about that? There are no more holidays. Yeah, and Thanksgiving <laughs> Family over. Very, Broken. Very weird. Christmas. Yeah, so that Ryan Giggs um, and his brother and all that stuff, you know, that Manchester United player and his brother had that affair with his wife which is very unfortunate but the divorce must have been a little bit messy i can assume you know with all those assets and money laying around i don't know how that would work so if uh if that was you would you have signed uh, a prenup or no in their situation or in your situation whatever situation <laughs> um I guess it depends you know if you're starting out a professional career in football and you don't have a girlfriend going into it um you should really take care of your assets and wealth you know make sure your assets are um taken care of from your name or they're in a form of uh you know a prenup where before you know your marriage and everything starts everything's all good and set to go you know i understand it with the professional uh soccer players because a lot of people will go after them Mm -hmm. you know a lot of like you know pretty women and all that stuff and that's all they look for is like money so they got to be careful with that and i understand that aspect but with like casualty like you know civilian people you know just normal people i feel like um it it definitely it differentiates a little bit what about you guys um i don't know because i feel like even if you are a normal person you still have a lot of wealth and uh, a lot of different assets Mm -hmm. in your life and people still might try to you know leech off that oh definitely trying to show you like a form of love or whatever and um yeah get into whatever assets you're holding and i think that if you don't sign a prenup it might come back to bite you if wealth is the number one thing that you prioritize mm-hmm. but if like me personally i would definitely sign a prenup mm-hmm. um because i haven't met the person that i feel like i can trust you know willingly like that to not sign the prenup and i feel like it'll I feel like it's just more of a protection in that sense when you sign it. 
You know what I mean? Is that with like a girl that you've already grown up with, or is like that's just like a new relationship and you already have everything established? Definitely, no, definitely if it's a new relationship, but like even if it's someone that I've grown um, that wealth with, yeah, I feel like still you know, any, anything can happen, you know, and like. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I want to make it fair, like, whatever assets are mine are mine, whatever assets are hers is hers. Yeah. Um, but not definitely, if if it's a new relationship, definitely going to sign it, because you yeah. never know. Like, people will just come out of nowhere and be like, For oh, sure. my God, I love you. Like, let's get married. <laughs> <laughs> Divorce papers, right? Now. Give me the money, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, what I'm about not, you, Jess? Not doing that shit. Um, I've actually talked with um, my boyfriend about this, because I was like, promise ring yeah promise ring (laughs) um no because i was like okay because he has a detailing business like he's trying to build like he has a business already he's trying to get a garage and like build on his business and he's gonna end up making a lot of money like with his business he's doing pretty well so far um and i support him through like everything because like that's i don't know it's cool like that's so cool yeah yeah it is i'd be fucked up if i didn't support him and i was Mm -hmm. like what do you think where you think this is gonna go Um, (laughs) oh me bitch (laughs) yeah no and i'm not someone who is like very materialistic like i don't need anything from you like i Mm -hmm. don't care about any of that so i actually asked him one day i was like so if we get married one day like are you gonna are you gonna make me sign a prenup he's like no and i was like okay because i'm not doing that if we're doing that because i don't i don't want to sign that because i don't want anything from him like Mm -hmm. i don't need anything that's like yours so oh, yeah. I like that. I like that yeah. perspective. I think it's for me it's kind of like a trust thing. Like, do you yeah. trust me enough to like not take what you have? Because mm-hmm. I don't I'm i I'm not with you for what you have. Yeah. Yeah, I, th- I definitely agree that's like all trust there, you know. Yeah, but some girls are shady, so you never know. Mm. You never know. <laughs> but <laughs> some not girls me though. Are shady. <laughs> Damn. It's unfortunate. What about you? Yeah, I mean like I mean realistically I think it's like kind of just ties into the story that we were just talking about where it's like Mm -hmm. i don't like obviously i feel like you you really like it's gonna be based on trust whether you do that prenup or not but like realistically like the dude the soccer player that you know was get having his brother fuck his wife like probably (laughs) yeah yeah, he probably trusted his brother and his wife as well so like for him to not get like he may or may not so. gotten a prenup and no matter how long he knew her whether it was during the whole career whether it was before like she switched up people change like that's kind of just life like yeah so realistically mm-hmm. like i feel like i don't know it feels naive it's like me saying like i should have done something when i was 18 but i know damn well now at my age that like I was more naive. I didn't know as much. I was stupid at age 18 or whatever. You know what I mean? Something like that where Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like, why would I not have somebody? I would sign a prenup and I would have, you know, like my partner sign a prenup because like I know who we are right now and I trust you right now, but it doesn't mean that you are going to be the same person a couple years down the line. And especially if it's like, if it's really like a long lasting marriage, like 10 years, like people change in 10 years. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I know you were saying just like, you don't want anything of what he has, but like, if it got to the point where you guys are breaking up like people are a little bit more vindictive and less like honeymoon and sweet all like peaches and roses you know what i mean they're Mm -hmm. like you know if it happened to be like that like some people are like you know you were saying 10 years earlier like i don't want anything you have then like on the way out you're like i'm gonna take everything you (laughs) have bitch like you're gonna be sleeping on the streets nigga like honestly you know what i mean so like i really just like i don't know i don't like for me personally, I think people make it too much of a big deal because, like, I don't think there's any reason why people should have a hand in each other's bank accounts. Realistically, like, in a part or like in a marriage and stuff like that, like, I hundred percent like I support having a joint bank account and then like, you know, just like obviously sharing the wealth because like everybody eats. I mean, you know what I mean, I everybody definitely eats. support. Yeah, I support that. But at the same time, like, if worse comes to worse, like we're talking about the situation where it's like you guys are divorcing not like you guys are ending on friendly terms and you guys are like all right like we're, i think we're just gonna end this like da, da, da. like it's usually like not really that happy of a thing to do so mm-hmm. like 
people are going to get mad and people are going to try to be like petty and stuff like that. So like no matter what, I just feel like there's no reason not to get a prenup considering if it shouldn't mean a lot to you to sign a prenup. Like, actually, I'll just come back to your example. Like, mm-hmm. Jess, if you're saying, like, you don't want any of his wealth, like, you should have no problem signing a prenup if you mm-hmm. don't want any of his wealth. That's true. You I get what, what you're saying? saying. So yeah. I'm like, I'm like, you shouldn't, if you are making it a big deal, in my mind, I feel like it's because That's you're scared. It's a problem. Mm-hmm. It's a problem. Because, like, it means, like, either you're scared or you want people, you want my money or, like, something's off because you're not 100% right now. Mm-hmm. It means you're not all in because if this is that big of a deal to you, it doesn't feel like you have the right intentions with me. But that's just how I see it. Yeah. I get what you're saying. I like so that. You, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so uh, um, I definitely I like that perspective of you going around where, um, you know, uh, if, you have that trust already and you don't want their assets. You don't want anything from them, just their love support and that, you know, relationship and everything between each other. Um, I get how like that should be just easy to just, mm-hmm. you know, get the prenup, you know, if you guys, it shouldn't be a struggle, you know, fight, um, and everything. Um, but you were saying something about like at towards the end, what was it? Uh, I didn't get the, the ending. It was something about, um, Fuck! I was listening about the everything about the, you know, you shouldn't fight about it if mm-hmm. you trust. Like I guess, like kind of more like if you're making it a big deal. If you're, yeah, if you're, you're making it a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not 100, percent I, th- mm-hmm. I don't know what you said after. I forgot. Um, I don't know. I think it was just mostly just kind of like tying up what I've said. Just yeah. like, you know, like if you're gonna make it a big deal, then it feels like you're not 100 percent of the relationship. I feel that it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't feel that it's a bit that big of a deal, especially yeah, yeah. if like I want my relationship to be two individuals coming together uh-huh. and having a great relationship together. Like yeah. I don't like need a relationship where like somebody's relying on the uh, each other. But yeah. I don't know. We're gonna and the, um, that. yeah. So it reminded me a little bit of what I was gonna say. Um, so you think that um, if they weren't comfortable kind of like not agreeing with the prenup because they you know they have full trust and stuff like that Mm -hmm. you think it's more of like a problem um like it's more like toxic to think that way or like um i don't uh, i don't think it's toxic because i mean like you know people have their opinions and like yeah maybe they see it from a different perspective like just to be honest like i would just have to have like a talk with them and then just kind of like have them understand my perspective because like realistically Mm -hmm. like if they do make it a big deal like i'm not gonna say it's toxic but maybe they're just not fully maybe aware or fully informed on the whole situation and Mm -hmm. what it entails like maybe it's very they only know surface level what a prenup is or like i don't know there's just only there's only so many options i can give that give people the benefit of the doubt when you're not trying to sign a prenup Mm because it's usually the person that like makes less money than the other person that is not trying to sign the prenup. You know what I mean? There's no reason for someone that, if you're like the breadwinner in the household, like there's no reason for you to be like, oh, I don't want to sign a prenup. Like, of course yeah. you, like, of course you do. You're the one that makes more money. Like, and it relationships don't always don't always work out where mm-hmm. like you guys both make around the same amount of money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes it's twice or three times like mm-hmm. the other person. I mean, sometimes the other person doesn't even work. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they're just like, yeah, a housewife like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna not sign a prenup with a housewife like respectfully like i don't mind <laughs> yeah. no you know what i mean like yeah, I, I don't I, yeah I, and I have no problem with having a housewife and i think like if i get in that position to make that amount, amount of money of course i'm gonna retire my wife like that'd be like the best thing in the world like i would love to have my wife not work and like spend more time with like our kids and like our family but at the same time like considering she doesn't have a job and like she doesn't have assets and she's not doing like anything financially for our family like i'm obviously gonna give her a piece like just out of like being nice but at the same time like you're not gonna take away from what i've done like on my own to provide Mm -hmm. for you the family and myself you know what i mean i just feel like that's gonna be a little bit unfair so it just feels like a power dynamic which is kind of weird you know what i mean i feel that but at the same time i do feel like 
you say like she doesn't have a job, but like you were talking about before. Mm, I see what you're saying. Being a mother it is, is a job. It is the biggest a job. job. I it's agree. the most underrated job. It is the most unappreci- underappreciated job because mm-hmm. one, you're not getting paid for it, mm-hmm. and you're still raising kids, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So like, let's say she's not there, and you have to raise the kids and also provide for the kids. Yeah. Then what? You're right. You're right. You know what I mean? But you can. I know. So but she's like, filling in a huge, huge part that you're not doing. I agree. And you're also filling in a huge part that she's not doing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I would say like this is gonna sound like this is gonna sound bad, but like this is like kind of what like very wealthy individuals do. But like you know, like you can pay a nanny like twenty five dollars an hour. Like your wife, like if like in the case of like I know we like we just touched a little bit, but. Um, talking about jeff bezos um his divorce where his wife took like she took in like eight figures like 50 something at least million dollars from jeff bezos for being like a housewife and it's like realistically like that number is only so she can keep living in the same lifestyle that she's been living she doesn't need 50 over she doesn't need even over 10 million dollars it doesn't take that much money to raise kids well, every year. Well, she was also when part you, of... Yeah, when you have that much money, though, like, yeah. less than that is, like, that's not enough because you're so accustomed to that lifestyle. I, but that just I feels think... like... But, yeah, no, I see what you're saying, but I don't... I only don't... Like, I thought about that, too, and I only don't like that argument just because, like, it's almost saying that you need to live mm-hmm. by those means. Mm-hmm. You don't, but that's what you she don't. thinks. She thinks that, but, like, yeah. realistically, like she hasn't made that much money to be doing something mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. you know and then also like she doesn't like she doesn't have the skills um knowledge or like power to like make that kind of money so realistically you can deflate your lifestyle if you really like want to live off of divorce and all this other stuff you don't have a job you can deflate your lifestyle you do not still have to be driving a rolls royce right you know just mm-hmm. because you're divorcing yeah. your husband no i i definitely agree with that but uh realistically i think that you know being a mother and you know you don't know what she's done behind the scenes you know you don't know what how much that. work she's actually like put in yeah. or like how much she supported his hus- her husband and you know when he was probably Anna's downfall and all this stuff like Mm -hmm. she was always there you know as support Mm -hmm. everything like through the ups and downs she was always there and like eventually you know she sprouted off and all this stuff and um I think that the money um kind of speaks you know for herself like because they have kids don't they Jeff Bezos and them right and I think you know when you have kids and stuff it's a totally you know I think it's a game changer Mm because at that point she has given you kids she has given you life you know and that's the most precious thing in the world Mm -hmm. that you can ever give Mm -hmm. and you know and that's like more than like hundreds of millions of dollars you know like to have a kid Mm -hmm. there and um you know just being there for the kids being there for him maybe and you know i don't know essentially what's behind the scenes as well but she has given kids she has been there and Mm -hmm. I think it doesn't matter about the price at that point, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so I I can agree with some of your points, but also mm-hmm. I I don't really agree with um, how she shouldn't get as I much as she mm-hmm. she would want. You think know? about this though, Luch. Respectfully, Jeff Bezos is a billionaire with a B. Right. Yeah. Respectfully. Yeah. yeah. So he, he can hand out whatever money he wants. Respect, yeah. Just I'm respectfully. Like, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. a hundred. He's more than a hundred billionaire. Like a hundred billion in his net worth. I think. Right. How do you even make that? that much money? Yeah. He's. Oh no. He's two hundred billion. Yeah. He's worth two hundred billion. How? Him and Elon Musk are one of the mm-hmm. most so wealthiest I was to people. Say was like respectfully, yeah. like if they're so rich, like I, like highly doubt that a as a housewife like you had to do much of anything like she's not cooking she's not cleaning she doesn't have to take them to school because they have money and then also on top of that but they probably the have a full-time nanny slash maid to be taking care of a lot of the things that she would actually be yeah, doing no i really doubt she mu- does 
much of anything. But I don't think you're understanding the. Housewife, you're, why wouldn't you do those things? But you're not understanding. Because they have a billion dollars. Why would you clean the dishes? You gotta. And clean you the gotta house? understand though that she, they they gave kids. You know what I mean? Huh. You gotta understand that they gave kids. But just because you gave kids doesn't mean you deserve like millions of dollars. Like, bro, I can have kids. That's like, the most like, like that's the know. most like precious thing you could ever do in the world. I know, it's but it's almost give like, kids. It's almost that's like, literally what makes us here. Okay, but people that have no money in the hood don't deserve a million dollars. Do they deserve a million dollars? For yeah, everyone five? deserves whatever they are worth. You know, whatever yeah, they but it doesn't they always deserve. Work out like that. They, it doesn't they, always work out like that. Yeah, she's the she's the wife of a billionaire, and she's the one that gave kids to. But she did ten ten times less amount of work that anybody any. How do you know that in. though? That's what you don't know like, that. He doesn't know, bro. Don't it's know, because like, what you're right. But we you don't, don't know. know. But like, think, think about this. You don't know if she was there for emotional support. You don't know if he's there. You're yeah. right. But there's kids. There's people that are in families that are much less fortunate, much less money. The mother is taking care of six kids. Let's say like that. Six yeah. kids taking care of six kids. They divorce like in a relationship. Now she's a single mother, and yeah. like she gets, like she's still getting a. Like a cut she gets of full whatever. custody. She, yeah. yeah, she gets full custody or whatever. It doesn't have to be like that, but like you know, like whatever, like meeting custody. But like she gets like half of like whatever. That's what they always say. But like she gets half of like. Like I've income. been, I've been with you know, mm-hmm. I've been through the divorced parents and stuff yeah. like that. So yeah. I understand a little yeah, bit more. No, I don't okay, know. But I hear you. So like I'm just saying like she's not taking as much as she's doing ten times the amount of work yeah. and getting ten times like less amount of money than jeff bezos yeah. wife is and jeff bezos wife they're living in a mansion they have housemates they have personal chefs and they have drivers they have everything and then all she has to really do is like just but that's not the same pers- thing okay it's not the it's same not. thing it's a different different lifestyle it's a different uh-huh. type of growing up you know because if yeah. you're you know for example i'm going to use my mother here mm-hmm. you know she got divorced at a young age and she got me at a young age around like 28 years old Mm -hmm. and stuff so she was working like three jobs already at this point and she's always worked super hard even went to college and worked three jobs while taking care of two kids by herself Mm -hmm. and she deserves more than the world Mm -hmm. you know she's the best mother ever and you know obviously because she's my mother and um you know i'd give her anything because the way she took care of me the way she fed me, the way she was there emotionally and all that stuff. My father wasn't really there as much, um, but he would come around from time to time and stuff like that. But um, I definitely see that side of where, you know, you don't have that much money mm-hmm. and stuff and they don't get what they you what know, they deserve. That's what I'm saying. Know what I'm saying? I'm no, it's you're... not what you're saying okay. because but... it's, it's um, they don't get what they deserve because they're in a different financial, you know, in the financial category yeah. when you're in low income category and stuff you know and you split up and stuff you're gonna get you know the worst part of the splits you know all the stuff it's not all financially like great mm-hmm. and you know when you're at the top one percent and stuff it's a total different category you That's know what exactly i'm saying? What I was saying and i think it depends also like you know you don't know if they have nannies you don't know if they do not have names like you don't know like anything behind the scenes and stuff you don't know if the kids were there Mm -hmm. with the the mother supporting Mm -hmm. them and stuff like that so we don't really know but what my argument my whole like statement that i was really just saying is that if you give life to children you know i'm saying that is just like you deserve the world you deserve whatever kind of money you get and i feel like you know mothers out there on the world deserve everything and all the respect that that you ever need i don't think every mother is a good mother like that's just not every mother is a good mother right yes i'm not i don't think not every mother is a good mother yes i can agree i see your side but you don't know if she was a good mother you don't know if jeff bezos is a good mother bro I. that's what i said yeah yeah yeah, no but you're saying the opposite way too but i would give your mother that type of money i was looking your side i would give jeff bezos's wife that money because she jeff bezos wife i know then a whole different tax bracket and all this other stuff she will ne- she has not worked forever she will never have to work for the rest of her life and the yeah. fact that you're saying you know we don't know if they have nannies or not bro people that are in like the two making two hundred thousand dollars a year have nannies like i guarantee you if their their net worth is more than a billion 
they are having nannies and they have everybody take care of everything. That's the whole well, point why, of having money. You know? Even why, if they don't, they still they they still gave life to the kid. Why would you, why would you have a nanny though? But what if they're a bad mom? Like, why, well, why like just because they gave life to the kid, like that's not enough for me. Like you're just telling me like you can just have a kid, go give it up for adoption. All right. Like, well, we did she life. get full custody? No, she didn't get full custody of the kids. She like, didn't get full custody, the custody of the kids. The kids are older too. Okay. Yeah. Like so. A is it, that's a total. I mean. I guess that's different because if they're older than 18, then yeah, it, yeah, there's no custody there and stuff like that. Yeah, if they were younger, it'd make a little bit like they're, more no, like the kids are a lot older. Jeff Bezos is like fucking like 60 or some shit. It's 60 something. Is he 60? Bro, dude is old. I don't really? Know this, yeah, I didn't know he was. Like He's that. old as shit. I mean, I honestly don't know. He was working on him. Amazon for a grip. Yeah. What I'm thinking though is, I see both your sides. Me too. But I'm thinking Yeah, six fifty nine. <laughs> how fifty nine. Yeah. Almost sixty. Wow. Yeah. How Almost could perfect. either one Crazy. if she's a housewife, she has to be a great mother, obviously. She deserves whatever money she got. If she's not a housewife and they have nannies, she's obviously doing something behind the scenes to help Jeff Bezos be the two hundred billionaire that he is. Why she's though? not because he's not stupid to just pick up someone that's not going to do anything but well just put, okay well i don't know i mean if you're making like if he wanted money, to do that he could have uh, just donated his sperm somewhere and just you had know, kids you're right himself. no no but no he could no but you're thinking of like but she you're, has you're to making be a it seem like she's only she only is giving oh. monetary value like her value is no. obviously somewhere else but i'm just saying like but why is it somewhere to, why is it automatically somewhere else though well i'm just saying like she like he's into jeff Bezos is into his wife for other reasons other than she can do something for my company and for my business. So I don't think so, that if she's not doing, if she's not being a housewife, it does not mean that she has to be doing something behind the scenes. Like there's too much money in there's, there's, if you have over a billion dollars in like assets and stuff like that, like you don't need to make your wife go work and do something else. Like it just like your wife doesn't have to do anything. And well, it what doesn't, if she, what if he built that, uh, my, that much money with her though? Well, be, she can stop working. Like, but she's not though. That's how they accumulated that much money. She didn't just stop working. Her involvement just making... in the company was like little to none. I, I remember researching. this Well, myself. then she must have been doing something on her own to help generate money for both their companies. Why do you think that? Do you because think you don't just not you don't just make you don't just make one company two hundred billion dollars on your own. You have to have some sort of support from another person. It doesn't have whether to be it's your wife. wife it was a big part of it, though. Has to be a big part. Whether she's watching out for the kids or whether she's putting her two cents mm-hmm. into the companies that he's. It's not just one company, yeah. though. But every every, every millionaire has. and CEO and like founder, like they didn't come up like they came up with a team. That's what you're talking about, like a, somebody that supports and helps them. And that doesn't have to always be like um, your wife, or you know what I mean. Like some of these people are single, and but stuff she's like that. not just sitting at home like. Mm-hmm. not doing anything either mm-hmm. you know like if yeah. they have nannies then she definitely shouldn't yeah. be yeah yeah but she you. should also be and she i know she is contribute or she was contributing mm-hmm. to whatever they were building together yeah, yeah. and she that's exactly why he paid her out as much money as he did yeah not only because mm-hmm. he could he definitely could have but because it. i feel like she definitely deserved it one mm-hmm. like luce said he gave her or she gave him kids that he could pass his assets down too. Mm-hmm. That's a huge part. It was actually because he was why. cheating. Yeah. But either way, like that's still a big reason as to why mm-hmm. he gave her that much money. Yeah. Because now those assets are gonna go to his kids when he dies. Yeah. That, which is a big reason why he is as big as he is, or why he has that much money. Yeah. And I uh, feel like after you know knowing about the cheating part, she definitely deserves that much money too. That's another reason why, but also I feel like up. it's because. Like you said, working behind the scenes, mm-hmm. you don't know what she does behind the scenes. Yeah, I agree. I think that's definitely a good part to like put up in there. Like realistically, she could have done nothing, but she could have also done a lot. Realistically, yeah, um, we don't know unless she does an interview. I guess. <laughs> she yeah. the but she yeah. has a private. She has a pretty much private life. Huh? Really? I mean, you could probably just look it up. Honestly, it's probably not that OD. Yeah. I mean, it's just interesting though. She donated half of. I was just about to say her net worth to charity. She from did. her divorce. Wow. I looked it up because this conversation has awesome. gone on for way too I long think, and I don't know anything about this. I was going to say just a test to like how much beautiful. like one, she did not need it. And like literally like two, like 
I don't know if I felt like I built that wealth, like, and it's also, you have to remember it's a tax write off as well, respectfully, but like, donation. I don't know, there's certain things. But why would you donate that much money just for a tax write off? And they were married for 25 because years. Be fine. That's a long time. My yeah. parents have been married for longer than that. So if wow. like my parents were that rich, I'm sure my dad would give my mom that much money too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, know, I see that. All right. We are going to change it up here a little bit. Um, let's, uh, yeah, we were, we were a little bit, uh, long on that last topic there. Um, but let's just veer off to a whole different question and make things fun a little bit. Um, so let's just start off with Jess here because I haven't we really, haven't really heard too much from her on this I podcast. Didn't, I didn't contribute to that last conversation. Um, <laughs> so we had a question. Uh, if you were in a relationship and you know um, your boyfriend or um, you know you were out. Would a kiss on the cheek con- be considered cheating? Wait, I actually have to think about this. Okay, so I feel like that's kind of tough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, I was so ready for this, and now I'm like, wait, let me think about it. Um, I don't really know if that's considered cheating, but like, I'd be pissed. Yeah. Why? Cause like why why are you kissing my boyfriend? Yeah. Like I don't care if it's the cheat the cheek, but like I don't really think that's like cheating for me. Mm-hmm. But I'd be like, why did you just do that? Or what if but I wouldn't even kissed? really say anything to him about it. I'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> what if your boyfriend kissed someone on the cheek? <laughs> nah, there's no way. So it's cheating. Okay, so I don't know. Th- so the first part you said. You would go after, like, if the person was kissing your boyfriend, you would go after the person that's kissing your boyfriend. Yeah, the girl. Come yeah. back. Because, like, why do you think you can do that? And then, so you wouldn't do anything about, you'd probably have a talk with him after. Yeah, I'd have yeah. a conversation with <laughs> you'd him, have a but conversation. I wouldn't be like, why the fuck is she kissing your cheek? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> no, agree. I'd be like, I why don't. are you kissing his cheek? <laughs> I don't think it's... I wouldn't consider it cheating, though. Like, I'm not going to be like, you just cheated on me. Like, you just kissed her cheek. Yeah, like, yeah. It'd what? definitely be, like, a conversation. But I'd be like, why did you do that? For why? Yeah. For what? Because, yeah, you... But I don't Then at that it, point, like, if he's doing it, like, in front of you as well, you don't know what he's yeah. going to be doing at. But here's the thing. Okay, so you. if I wasn't there and I was, like, a picture or something... No, it's a wrap. Like, that's so different. Because, like, why is it on social media now? And And why is there proof of it? Oh, my God. Yeah. And you don't know what going on after. He's, like, smiling at it, too. Yeah. He's like, like, yo, you're wild. Yeah. I'd literally be like, no. (laughs) Pick up the phone. (laughs) No. But with the initial situation, like, say if we, like, went somewhere and it was someone we both, like, are friends with, we haven't seen in a while, and, like, a little, like, whatever. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's hey. normal. Yeah, yeah. But like, if Would you don't be. know her, he does. She doesn't know you. Mm, yeah. What is that? <laughs> and if there's a picture, mm. wraps. It's done. That's a wrap. Yeah, I respect that. I feel that. What about you? Um. So if are we talking about if my girlfriend kissed someone on the cheek or if someone else kissed her on the cheek? If She's someone else wait. kissed her, yeah, yeah. You can start out with if someone kissed your girlfriend on the cheek. Well. Someone kissed my girlfriend on the cheek. It's like, why? Why did you do that? I want to say, like, how did it get to that point? I agree. Yeah. Like, how did it get to the point where they felt comfortable, comfortable with kissing on the cheek? Yeah, like, I agree. Uh-huh. Did you not tell them that you were with someone? Yep. Ooh. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Did you not set that boundary right there? Um. Damn, that's a good point. Oh, shit. I feel like it, it shouldn't get to that. that. I feel like it really shouldn't get to that point unless she was kind of, I don't want to say she was Damn. interested in it. Because, you know, people just go up to people and just kiss them, like, out of nowhere, right? Yeah, it happens. I've Which seen is, it. Yeah. yeah, it happens. I can understand that. But if, like, you didn't set that boundary, then it's like, what's good? Like, why, why didn't you set that boundary? Mm-hmm. That's where I would be thinking, like, then and there. Um, I wouldn't say it's cheating if they got kissed, like if someone else kissed their cheek, but if she kissed someone else's cheek, then there's a certain intention there where Mm -hmm. it's like you, 
wanted to do something. Yeah. Yeah. Just for like a kiss on the cheek. Mm -hmm. And like Jeff was saying, like if it's someone that I don't know, especially, like it's one thing if it's like um, a longtime friend that you have and like I know of them and like I I, like I respect like the um, relationship or friendship that you guys have. That's Mm. that's one thing. I might be a little petty about it at points. Yeah. Mm. I wouldn't consider it cheating. Like, it's like, mwah, mwah. but, like, it's another thing. What if thing. it's a triple? <laughs> <laughs> you just keep going like, third, back and forth until someone crazy. says stop. The third, third, is crazy. third is like, oh, yeah. what's good now? You know, it's just like, like <laughs> one, two, and three. <laughs> nah, unless they're French, then no, nah, they have no excuse for that. No, if they. Or if they're French, I'm even more sus, bro. I swear on my life. I'm like, bro, get your little suave ass nigga, bro. Like, honestly. No, but Ooh, seriously, monsieur. if if she kissed someone else in the cheek, I, I would say that there's an intention of cheating. Yeah. Or an intention of, um, yeah, an intention of cheating. Like, there's no reason for my girlfriend to want to kiss anyone else in the cheek. Mm-hmm. What about like, if you did it? I wouldn't. I mean, you wouldn't. I, I wouldn't say that I wouldn't, but oh, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> but like if I if I wasn't cheating, then I wouldn't do that. If I was cheating, then I would probably do that. It's hard to, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you just said you don't consider it cheating. No, I consider it. I would say that there's an intention to cheat. So if you cheat. did it, you'd be like, "Yeah, I'm cheating." So I'm gonna. Kiss yeah, no. Nah, if, if I Jared if the I grave digger because he often <laughs> like often have these conversations and he just digs himself holes. Yeah. Yeah. So like you were making yeah, sense and then I caught you off guard and then you weren't yeah. making sense anymore. Yeah. No, like uh, if I if I if I kiss someone else with a cheek and I'm with someone that's an intention to cheat, like there's no reason for me to do that. Okay. If I yeah, I agree. Like I can't say that that's not cheating. Mm-hmm. I see you. I actually, I kind of like that perspective too. You want me to answer before you, or we? Yeah, yeah, you can. Right, but, you um, Are you gonna talk about it for twenty minutes? No, well, <laughs> no, definitely not. I mean, like realistically, like I was gonna say, like I mean, I don't think that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to. No, that's fair. Um, I don't know. I probably like. I mean, I'd probably just like talk to my girlfriend. Realistically, I mean, like. I don't think it's that like in what if, someone, if, someone, in what yeah, yeah. if someone kissed my girlfriend then i would just yeah. be like i would talk to my girlfriend first and then like i would talk to the dude because i feel like i would talk to like, dude first yeah, yeah, yeah see talk to the yeah, other like, person what are you first. doing bro yeah. he's my fucking girl like, yeah back the fuck up uh-huh. motherfucker. I, like in my opinion that's not a talk to you yeah. twist or whatever <laughs> what if you, well, yeah. i would talk to my girl first just because like i'm feeling like i don't know like it's not like it's not like a jump scare like I don't know, like, first of all, I feel like you know when somebody's about to kiss you or somebody's feeling you, like, that type of way. Yeah. Like, it's not like, like, like to get, to get that right close. <laughs> yeah, okay. But, like, yeah, if you got that close <laughs> to somebody to sneak a kiss in, like, that sounds crazy to me. Like, nobody's yeah. sneaking a kiss in. So, like, I'm going to talk to my girlfriend first and be like, yo, like, what was that about? And then, like, if she was like, oh, like, I didn't ask for it, this and that, then I like, go talk to the dude. I'm like, bro, like, what do you want type deal? Like, why do you want, like, I don't know, like, what do you want weird old times? Like, but I don't know. And then the opposite of your girl? Um, did the obviously, kiss. I'm just going to talk to my girl first. Because, like, I think the whole conversation Yeah, because comes back, she's so. the one initiating it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think you, it doesn't matter. It's like, not the guy's fault. Yeah. It's, it's not about any other people besides you and your girl. You and your so, girl, like, yeah. realistically, like, I trust I my girl before anybody like else in the relationship or like outside of the relationship. So like the fact that a dude's kissing her, like I trusted my girl to not be flirtatious or like kiss other dudes or get kissed by other dudes. So like, I'm going to talk to my girl first. That's how I feel. And then I will talk to the dude after if there was a misunderstanding, you know what I mean? But that's it. Yeah. No, I definitely agree with that point. You know, if my girl was getting kissed by a guy I would initially be thinking like, oh, like that guy is like, you know, assaulting my girlfriend. So I'd go up straight to the guy mm-hmm. and like be like, yo, what up, bro? Like what's going on and all this stuff. And then we settle it. He, you know, is on the ground and stuff. And then, <laughs> and then, um, and then I start to talk so to hard. my, I start to talk to my girlfriend like, hey, honey. Um, so what was that about? And then, uh. And then we would obviously talk about it. And if she, you know, had intentions, like Jared, 
you know, if Jared was saying something, you know, uh, I agreed with what he was saying about how if she had like intentions behind, like, you know, talking with him and stuff like that and the way they brought up the conversation and she was initiating a lot of it, maybe here and there or stuff like that, like it would just be like, whoa, like that's fucked up, you know. Yeah, yeah. But if she wasn't and some guy was just like kind of like assaulting her or whatever, it's, you know, it's fine. Um, but if the other way happened then I think it would be more of a problem because it's like she's the one that has the boyfriend and she's initiating the kiss and the guy has not, you know, nothing to do with it. She could easily, you know, just block the guy and all this stuff and not, you know, converse with him or, you know, kiss him on the cheek and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So at that point, it would just be a conversation between, you know, her and I. And um, I definitely agree with you guys, actually. So. So we all agree that like it's not considered cheating, but it's wrong. It's wrong, yes. It, it, I mean, I, I in the weirdest way, like I think it, like it might as well be like cheating. Yeah. Honestly, if, if she if, if she you, kissed the other guy, yeah. that's cheating, yes. That's cheating. Yeah. That's but if she was getting cheating. kissed by the other guy, it's not only yeah. with really no consent. With, no consent. with no yeah, consent. Yeah, with no consent. Because respectfully, like. Like, if she was flirting with him, like, oh, my God, yeah, like, you're exactly. so big. Then, like, yeah. oh, my and God. Then he kissed her. And then she's like, oh, come on, honey. Yeah, like, you're so exactly. cute. Then and I'm then like, she, like, you were asking then, for it type of deal. Yeah. Like, and then she's so like, weird. oh, my God. And then yeah. you see that, you're like. Yeah, yeah. you're like, excuse me. Yeah, exactly. Excuse and, like, also, I just think about it me, in the opposite <laughs> way. Like, if you were, went out to, like, like, in my opinion, like, if I got kissed by a girl on my cheek, like, while I'm out, and my yeah. girlfriend's out there, too, like, obviously, our... I already feel that thing in the back of my mind telling me <laughs> that like I'm gonna get my ass in trouble or like yeah. I'm doing something wrong, and mm -hmm. then vice versa. Like, obviously, if you're gonna kiss another girl on the cheek, like you're thinking demon things, or you're that like, is wild. Like, like in the why your girlfriend like, is there? Yeah. 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 Or even, you even like know? look at her in the eyes while you do it. Yo, know, that's foul. You're sick for that. <laughs> <laughs> like, like honestly, I I think that's definitely <laughs> a demon. All right, so you said you brought up a uh, point about flirtatious and flirting and stuff. So, if so, like if your girlfriend is openly oh flirting with someone, oh yeah, like how you're just doing, like in the um, example, like, like, yeah, yeah, you're doing, yeah, and the, like they end up kissing your girlfriend, is that flirting, cheating? Yes, bye. Yes. For yeah. sure, yeah, for sure. So I was gonna Flirting say, is definitely you're... cheating because you're initiating. Yeah, the, you're looking real emotions. deep into his eyes right now. No, I'm just <laughs> trying to connect with him, <laughs> like yeah. have a real conversation. Because I was just thinking about, you remember the time when we went, uh, we were out, and the girl we were the time you were flirting me. Oh, the yeah, the girl. <laughs> so we were out one time, and this girl, like you, like we were waiting by the bathroom. And I let this girl go ahead of. <laughs> <laughs> so we were, we were sitting by the bathroom. I let this girl go ahead of me. Yeah. And bro, this girl looked me dead into my soul, like for five, like it felt Ooh. like five minutes. And literally, she was just like flirting with me. Literally, I did not even think that she had a boyfriend. Like that thought never came across my mind mm -hmm. the way that she was flirting with me. Yeah. And so I'm just wondering, like, would you guys consider that cheating if that was your girlfriend? Are you saying like I fucking like? Bro, no, she, like I fucked me and started flirting okay, with you. Yeah. Like she, I fucked me, flirted with me, all that shit. I think that's yeah, that's a level of just like. And that gave me that gave me up, like man. the the go ahead to pursue her afterwards. Yeah. So I saw her afterwards, and then I found out she yeah. had a man's, and I was like, yeah. oh. Yeah, that thought never crossed mm -hmm. my mind the way that you were just talking to me. The before. way she went about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I mean, I'm gonna say like I don't think like I don't think the whole like looking at somebody like that. I don't think that is cheating. It's like what you really do. Like honestly, like your real actions are the ones that are gonna like actually show like what you're doing. You know what I mean, like just because you want to do something, like everybody in a relationship thinks that there's somebody else that's possibly better looking than like their partner like whoever oh, their girlfriend or boyfriend like it's just the fact that and there's going to be other people that maybe come up to you that like you may even think are more attractive but like it's just about your actions it's not about like what you're thinking realistically because like i don't know like what your mind 
you know, thinks like it can run wild a little bit, but like if you don't act on that stuff and like you just stay loyal and like you know just do your own thing, like I don't see anything wrong with it. But she's doing some wild shit, so like I was don't think the eye fucking you? is weird. Oh yeah. yeah oh, I thought you meant she was just like no. Like, she's she's fucking my like, shoulder. She said, I fucking and then flirting. Oh no. yeah. Like, oh yeah. No, that's cheating. just cheating. Yeah, I, that's just I, cheating. If I did like, that, I, I would feel a, so. I thought she was just looking at you from across the room, just being like. No, she was right in front of me. You're like. Yeah, yeah, just like, scoping you out. Yeah, literally. I was like talking to her, and then Lucia actually like credit card swiped my ass. And I was like, whoa, whoa, don't do that. Oh my god. And I was like, oh my god. Yeah. You know <laughs> I know. I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, that story. Like, it was right in Stonebridge line to go to the bathroom. It was funny. <laughs> he fucking jumped. And I was like, oh. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. yeah. Must have worked out. No, it. I don't know. I guess it might have worked. No, I do remember her. Oh, my God. She was going to the bathroom and stared straight at him the whole entire walk there. And then while closing the door, she was just like. Oh, no. And I was That's just demon. like, what? That's Jared, demon. what the hell? Like, the confidence of that girl. I know. I, I could not it. do and that. Jared stared it. straight at her, too. He just kept that like. You know, my like, type of type of <laughs> eyesight, you know, like I'm with it. But I didn't even know that she had a boyfriend because See? of the fact that she was just so like there and like open to you, you know, it just didn't feel that way. I that, like But I then said, you said it, it afterwards and they were just mind. like fucked up. I was like, yeah, bro, that's why I'm trying to like Bro, if I had. That's why I'm getting the prenup. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's why I'm getting the prenup. Like, that's, that's crazy. crazy. I'm sorry. Like, oh my God, I remember that vividly. And then that's why I went up to her like later on and then I, I realized that she had a boyfriend. So. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, no, I definitely think it was like definitely cheating. You know, if you flirt with someone, you're putting that action, you know, of trying. <laughs> it's hard to explain but i know what you're trying yeah, to say you know like it, it's just like what you're thinking like he was saying you know like what you're thinking and those thoughts it's fine right but when you put it into motion mm -hmm. it's just like it's wrong because you're actually putting you know action behind those thoughts and you're flirting with another girl that's not your girl yeah and then that is definitely cheating because you're being a you're you're just being more you know i don't know like you're kind of like emotionally cheating as well it is you know you're emotionally sense, cheating yeah. and you're mm -hmm. you did not bring that loyalty in with your girl your loyalty is just out you're the window you're most likely saying things that you've said to your girlfriend to this girl you don't know yes yeah also so, which is f even fucked more up. fucked up yeah <laughs> also more too like up. when i went up to her Holy and then shit. like her boyfriend was around she wasn't looking at me the same way before like how she was exactly because her man yeah, is there her man exactly was there. and so that's when i was like okay all right that's crazy know. bro that makes me feel even worse yeah. like to have a girl that i hate girls oh my god grimy why why do you hate girls because they're all like that are they yes I don't yes say all of them are like that. most girls are know? like that it's and really fucked up yeah it's really fucked up why are most Personal girls like that? I can't really talk about it though. But uh, give us just a little insight on why you're thinking that. Without any names or any, you know, specific things in the I sense. I have a friend. <laughs> I don't. I can't say because I don't know if she's gonna watch this. No, no. I mean, we can always bleep it out or anything yeah. like that too. Okay, bleep this out. Yeah. One of my. Yeah. She she had another Snapchat. Yeah. Wow. So I don't have to explain that. Snapchat. She had another Snapchat. She would like talk to a bunch of guys People. like on the Snapchat. She would hang out with other guys and then deadly, freak out when deadly. he was being sketchy. Mm. Mm. But like this went on for so long and I literally have like I don't think I have them anymore, but I have like voice memos on my phone because I was getting so sick and tired of it. And I was like, this is really fucking wrong. Yeah. Of her like screaming at her boyfriend about like all these other situations. But yet here she is. We went to bowling and met up with these two guys. Wow. I mean, I how I was still with John, but 
Yeah. And I, he, I, he knew about this too. And I was like, I don't really know why I'm here, but like, this is crazy. I'm here. Yeah. Cause you didn't know about it. They, yeah. Well, I, it, it was wrong. Both of my roommates were going out. So her, my other roommate and me, we all went bowling and she was like, Oh, they're meeting us here. And I was like, what? I mean, okay, <laughs> I but like, guess. what about? You just dragged along. I would have just yeah. invited John at that point. Yeah, yeah it w- so it's just yeah. So girls, girls are grimy. Damn. Yeah. That sucks. So would you say? Would you say girls are worse at that, or guys are worse at that? Worse at what though, specifically? Like speaking? that type of uh, that dogish mentality. Oh, like they'd be more like, uh, probably willing to like cheat and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. more well, I easy feel like to do that. I yeah. feel like girls think that guys are like. I mean, guys are pretty bad with that stuff too. Not all guys, but mm-hmm. most guys. Just like how most girls are bad with this stuff. Yeah. But guys think they can get like any girl, which really isn't true. But like, girls can really get any guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So in Very that true. way, I feel like girls are worse it's easier for them yeah yeah mm-hmm. you really don't have to try that hard yeah, yeah sure wow see, see? It's perspective have a different perspective goes to the girl because that's what like we, you know we do talk about that from time to time where it's easier for girls to get with however you know many guys and whatever kind of yeah and guys is just a little bit more tougher if you're not that you know good looking or that not have that confidence that, yeah well yeah. that's the other thing like even you know? if a girl isn't like a 10 out of 10 if they have the confidence of like a 10 out of 10 quote unquote yeah. then like they don't give a shit about anything i mean it's all opinion at the end of the day like yeah. realistically like a, a zero through 10 scale is like pretty like garbage considering mm-hmm. like anybody can be a 10 in anybody's eyes and anybody yeah. can be a one in anybody else's eyes yeah. 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 um yeah well i think uh we're gonna end it off there I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure to, you know, check out Jess uh, for coming on and really helping us out. And uh, make sure to check out our link in the description down below, our handles, our merch store. Yeah. And thank you, La Media, for helping out with everything. We appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. The Peace. way you scream my name is music to my ear.